we celebrate, of course, last night with a couple of uh, bottles of champagne. Not too much for the boys, more for the staff and so on. Because there's another stage coming up, six climbs, with the last one, with the special one, the first three kilometers with a 16% percentage uh, uphill. I think there's for sure there's gonna be a selection there. Ciao, And the last climb on the top is still 26 to the finish line, so if there's selection on the top, maybe they're gonna make it to the finish. Chef Willie cooked for Lance Armstrong during his seven tour wins, but is now with the Cervelo test team. I spend the day with him while the boys battle it out on the climbs. This is special for Carlos Saster. He takes two eggs, vino, two spoon of vino santo, that's uh, sweet wine, you know, and then you put some honey in it, and then with the mixer, that's just for him. He has a special, uh, you don't say diet, it's, some, uh, it's to pop off, you know, to get strong. Once his prep work is done, Willie always catches the end of the race. Today, Cervelo's Serge Pals is in the break. Basso is one minute up the road, and Carlos doesn't have any teammates to chase him back. So he calls Serge to wait at the top of the last climb. But Serge doesn't wait and mayhem ensues. They don't understand why he didn't obey the order of, uh, of Cervelo. He should have just sat on his wheel, though. I don't know if he has a communication with uh, Van Poppel, if he out oh, 20 cases. It's difficult to go and hold back, you know? When he sees he could probably do a better, a better job on his own, then wait till Basso is coming, you know? And in the car, they think with... Albacini, uh -huh. Albacini. Yeah, I'm, I'm really wondering what he's Albacini talking to him. I mean, now we can ask him. Serge falls back from the break after the last climb. And where is Powell's? He's in between. He's... Yeah, he must be in between or he went completely. And this doesn't bring nothing to Saster, it doesn't bring nothing to Paul. Maybe he waits for Carlos. Yeah, 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 sure. You don't want to see the, the guy now ride to the finish line on his own, it would be horrible. Now the whole bunch is together. Maybe Carlos needs help. There is Saster. Yeah. Nobody around. So he's alone, probably. Here is Paul with these three boys. Menotti, yeah. Rosano, and Rock. He's angry now, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He must be. He must, he must be angry. He really must be angry. Come on. Bad for Pauls when he really told him not to go with him. Oh, fuck. Stage win, gone. If he wins the sprint, then it's even worse. Oh, 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 oh. Definitely he wins. Can you imagine? I'm wondering now what uh, Marcello is saying. Now the group and uh, Sasta doesn't sprint, he doesn't mind. Willie waits for the team to get the inside scoop on what just happened. <laughs> Marcello, what happened today? Carlos had given the order that he was alone on the, the climb, that he has to wait on the top of the mountains, that when something happens in the downhill or in the flat, Carlo was, be, was isolated. So instead of he waited, he continued. And that's an order of the captain of the team, he has to obey. Even if uh, he could win a stage, on the end, if Carlos is third or second or first, it's more important than a stage win, you know. I understand when the, the order came from, from uh, Carlos that he has to wait on the top. They're riding for Carlos, right? Yeah, 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 definitely. And he knew this from the very start of the Giro. I then learned the unfortunate reason why Carlos was isolated. Vladi had crashed hard. 
leaving Carlos unprotected while Basso was up the road threatening his number five GC spot. While the team eats dinner, chaos erupts in Belgium. Flemish fans, unaware of the whole story, are in an uproar over Powell's being called back from the break, with some even making death threats. We send all the time people in the breakaways the last couple of days to be there when, uh, when we miss somebody with Carlos, so they can help when there is necessary. Yeah, yesterday was a day like that. It was a breakaway, early breakaway with 16. Sergio was in there. And with, uh, I think, 50k to go, we got uh, this information that uh, the bunch was also exploded through an attack of uh, Liquigas and in specifically uh, Ivan Basso. We told him before, uh, before the top already that uh, he has to wait for Carlos because of the fact that uh, Basso break away out of uh, Carlos' group and took uh, about a minute. Carlos was in, in the second group behind Basso and he was there alone, there, he had no teammate anymore. And uh, we have uh, asked Sergio to stop on the top to give uh, some backup, let the Basso group pass, wait one minute more until uh, Carlos should come with his group and close that gap. I just followed the, the first rider of the breakaway, Bertagnoli, because he was pulling in the front for his teammate. And suddenly when we came at the top of that last climb, I was in the wheel of a guy who just rode me to the finish. I couldn't believe that they still wanted me to, to wait in this situation. He didn't stop on the top. He, he waited with that. I think 15 minutes later, he didn't know what to do anymore. And, and almost the group was uh, taking back the, the Basel group. John Paul didn't have the TV in his car or it didn't work properly. Uh, so all the information we got was a little bit delayed and that also caused a little bit of a delay in my final decision to, to actually to wait for Carlos. So at that time it looked a little bit stupid on television that I waited for him at the time he was actually coming back to the group of Paso. Pals and his teammates know that Carlos doesn't take it lightly when he asks them to sacrifice for him. After all, he's been on the other side of the equation. We are talking that I did uh, something like uh, 20 big tours already. This is my 20th, you know. In the Vuelta España of uh, 2000, I lost something like uh, seven minutes just waiting for Olano. And I finished uh, eighth in the GC. And if I don't lose that time just waiting for Olano, maybe I was in the, in the podium in the Vuelta España. I won the mountain jersey. And like that's a uh, moment I have hundred. I understand uh, pretty well his situation. I can understand how he felt, but uh, in this life we need to, to suffer and work together for our common goals. And uh, you still his young. He saw good things. And it, he needs to make the basis for becoming a, a big professional rider, you know? Um, there was a bit of confusion yesterday over the, the thing with Serge, but we've, we've sorted that out now. Like, well, so we sat down and talked about it after the stage, and, you know, that's the good thing about this team. We don't kind of put it under the carpet. We, we brought it up after the stage, and we talked about it, and we, we discussed it, and we, you know, we all kissed and made up, so we're all... We're all ready for it again today. We're ready to go. Today's a really, really long stage and starts and finishes up a climb and uh, I think uh, we're all sort of, you know, looking to help Carlos as much as we can and then just get through the day when we, we can't be with him anymore. With some seven hours under the burning sun, stage 16 is considered to be the hardest of this Giro, with Carlos pulling off a spectacular win. Serge played a key support role in Carlos's jump from fifth to third 
in the GC. After the mistakes that happened yesterday, this is, this is beautiful. I had really good legs there. I was so motivated to, to help Carlos to the victory. And, yeah, if this happens, it's, it's, yeah, it's, for me, it's more, uh, more beautiful than a, than a possible victory yesterday for me. So this was a nice surprise. After a tough day that uh, as he had before, the day before, he could be in the front in the last part and he did a uh, fantastic job, you know. He asked me, Carlos, do you need something? And I said, just in the beginning of the climb, go full gas. And together with Ignas, you know, he did it. And for me it was important because I saw that the two important riders for the GC, they were in troubles. Uh, just so I can play my cards, uh, just uh, without spend my own energy, you know. And uh, it was really important. I think we showed the day after already that we are just uh, a great team and that we work together as one big uh, union, you know. And I was really happy that I could help uh, Carlos in his, uh, in his stage victory the day after. The team uh, was working uh, hard in the silence. Nobody saw anything of us, but uh, we were there. We're, we must be there. Uh, now we have a nice opportunity, a common goal for fight uh, for this Giro d'Italia, no? Yeah, actually at night I had, and that's really true, I had one dream that I was riding in Rome on the Criterium and Carlos had the pink jersey. Yeah.